hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about functions in python so what are function in python function in python are block of code which only run when we call them so like we have to define a function and when we will call it it will run so we will define them with the keyword def here and then i will give a name to any function like i will create a function my function and then i will call close this so this is the way we create a function now I will can write anything inside this function like I will write this my first function now we have defined a function now now we have to call that function if I will run this it will not run so to run that what I need to do I have to copy this function here and play and paste it and then I will run this function so it will run so it will only run when we will call that now we can even pass argument inside this function also like argument like suppose we will create a function here we will like we will create a function number and then i will put some argument here like no and then i will print no and we will start multiply it with 2 and now if we want to call this function so I will go there copy this function and here I will give a value 4 and just run this function so it will give the answer 16 so here we have defined 16 in place of number so this is the argument so this is the single way we can give argument here in this example uh, we have only given a uh, one argument inside a function but we can even give a multiple argument like suppose like I will create a function here and give it a name number one and here what I will do I will put one here and here I will give power and then I will just copy this and print it here and instead of this I will write power and when we call this function and give some values here and I will give a values here like I just have to remove this also like I will give a value here 2 3 and here I will give 3 so it will run this function now so it will give 27 so it will multiply three three times and give the power there so if we will change it it will change also if we will get 5 4 so it will give 64 so this way what we can do we can give multiple arguments in a function so now friends we will learn about this arbitrary arguments so if you don't know how many arguments you don't need to know upfront on that case how we will define a function so like if you will create a function like def and give it a name something like number dot arg and we don't know how many argument uh, we need upfront on that case how we can define it so start like I will give it an arg here and then I will print and here will take arg and it's the first number so it will multiply its first number with the second number here and like if we will now print this like if you will call this function now and here I will take some multiple numbers like 1 2 4 5 and here I will take some change number like 6 and now I will run this program so it will multiply first two numbers so we upfront down need uh, specify any number for argument and it will in the print section we will give two arguments and it will multiply them beside that we can even define a tuples and we can create an argument for that suppose like if I will go up and here I will define a tuple here so I will give it a name num tuple and give it some values here 5 6 7 and 8 7 whatever value and now I want to I will just copy this here 
and paste it and just run this so it will not run but what we need to do we will have to give their star also and I will just put a star here and run this program so it will multiply first number so this way we can arbitrary argument and without defining our argument in upfront now we will understand about keyword argument so keyword argument is like we will take this example here like def where we have given uh, numbers and power and first it will be number and power like suppose like we will make some changes here here we will put power equal to 4 and number equal to 3 so what will be the answer here the answer is 81 so in this case it will be the number here and the power is this so in this way we will create your keyword argument so now we will understand about return value from function it is better to get the result of function inside the function and then print it rather than like do it step uh, rather than just doing it printing it so how we can do that let's see it. suppose first of all we will define and two numbers and add them like we have defined a function number and here I will take number one and number two and after that I will create a variable result and here I will add one equal to I will take n1 plus n2 and then I will print this number the sum of number and then I will give here result next thing I will create two variables here one is number one and give it some value here and then I will give number two and give it some value here now if we have to add this number what I will do I will give the call the function here and here I will give number one I will copy paste number one and I will copy and paste here our number two and then we will run this program so it will add this number but better like we will return value from this function so how we can do that for that what we will do we will go to the program and in print statement we will just remove this print here and here we will write here we will write your return function return result and then I will create here also result and then I will print the number the print statement I will use and here I will be the sum of numbers and then I will put result and run the program so now we have first returned that value and execute that function within that and then we will print that so this is how we can do return of value of function so now we will understand about return value from function it is better to get the result of function inside the function and then print it rather than like do it step uh, rather than just doing it printing it so how we can do that let's see it. suppose first of all we will define and two numbers and add them like we have defined a function number and here I will take number one and number two and after that I will create a variable result and here I will add one equal to I will take n1 plus n2 and then I will print this number the sum of number and then I will give here result next thing I will create two variables here one is number one 
and give it some value here and then I will give number two and give it some value here now if we have to add this number what I will do I will give the call the function here and here I will give number one I will copy paste number one and I will copy and paste here our number two and then we will run this program so it will add this number but better like we will return value from this function so how we can do that for that what we will do we will go to the program and in print statement we will just remove this print here and here we will write here we will write your return function return result and then I will create here also result and then I will print the number the print statement I will use and here I will be the sum of numbers and then I will put result and run the program so now we have first returned that value and execute that function within that and then we will print that so this is how we can do return of value of function hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about how to create a calculator in python using functions and taking input from user so we have a python uh, jupyter notebook here and we will start creating a function here def first of all i will add and then i will give two values here suppose i will give value x and y so what they will do they will return uh, x plus y so that they will return similarly i will create other functions also i will just copy them and now what I will do I will just change them second one is your subtract so I will have subtract third one is your third one I will say multiply and the fourth one I will just give here multiply and the fourth one is your divide and here I will give divide so this we have created a four function one will add second will your subtract third one will multiply and the last one will divide now we will have to print the operator which we will use to create a function and to create a function I will write print and then I will say select an operator Select uh, what we not operator. I will. Uh, I will say select an option. That will be better. And the option. So I will do it. Close it. With your slash n. And then I will give some operators here. And first of all is your add one before add first one is for your add then I will give second one I just copy this and second operator I will give to subtract this is our second one and just I will copy this again then I will go to third line and in the third I will give your I will just add some more space here okay third one is for your multiply 
and just copy this again and then I will just copy this again and here I will do the fourth operator and the fourth operator is your divide so here we have to take print this option like which operator like you will do what what calculation you want to perform like you want to add you want to subtract you want to divide and then when we will go outside it mm, then I will go to outside it I just to remove this then I will go here and I will create a variable operator and give it input so it is your integer input we will take integer input from user here like option I will give like one and then comma then two comma two then comma three then comma four so we have given the four operators so that if we will if we will give any operator from them then it will perform a operation and dot operation is like I will just copy this or uh, not copy first of all I will give a uh, one more thing like we will take uh, two input from user like number number one is equal to again input I will just copy this and I will write enter number one and then I will close this and just copy this again and place this here and I will put here number two so we have taken two number from our user and if he will select any number so we have to perform some operation here and that operation is if I will say this operator equal to equal to one we will say that so what performance it will do so it will print we will say it will print then we will take there this one it will add two numbers and how it will add so in place of this I will take number one because we are taking the input from the user here so we are using the function where we will use this input from user so it will print number one and else and the next thing is here else if then if we will again take an operator here we will take this operator copy this again and here I will put 2 and the operation that it will perform is here like I will take it here it's not working so I just have to copy this and go there and take it a bit here this side and add the second one is your subtract so I will put SUP this is our second operator again we will take copy this and paste it here and this is our third operator and here I will give the name multiply so I just copy this from here and paste it here and we will give another one operator mode because we are using the four operator and the fourth one I just remove the space from here I will give four and here the name should be changed it is divide so I will divide this and the last one is our else condition so we'll put else here so we'll close this else from here and then I will give print enter valid operator so this way we can do 
our this program where we have to put uh, some and just we will run this so it will show some elif is the problem here so we have to check where is the problem the problem is like we have not taken it in one line so we have to take it in one line here similarly is here we just and there also and here also i think indentation is the problem here and then i will run this so it will ask about but still it's showing the problem now we have to check where is the problem here so it is not performing the operations here if operator equal to equal to 1 2 is subtracting and the third one is multiply and the fourth one is divide so it's okay but we have to check where is the problem so it is putting input 1 2 3 4 operator so here we have a problem see we have to solve this problem so what we will do i will just put it inside here inverted comma and just close this we have to put it inside operator now we have to check whether it work or not I just run this one it will ask about number one so I have taken some problem here so I will just again run it we, we will again run it and see whether it's running or not one twenty three so it will add two numbers here so we have to give here one twenty one forty six we have to check what's the problem here run 2, 2 is the operator for subtract so I will give 23 then I will give 34 so it gave minus 11 so it's working so our operators are working here fine so this way we can create an operator here but it is uh, like we have to check 4 printing 4 is for operator so you can create a program in this way and use your functions thank you very much